afternoon folks, Joy Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we're touring our Krupp Industries El Dorado porch model. Very unique house, this is the first of its kind. I can't wait to show you guys around this unit. We got a lot of great features we haven't shown you before. I'm gonna point out a few things on the outside of the house, we'll make our way on the inside. So the first thing you're gonna see is this has actually got it a front porch on it. We extended it eight feet and what a lot of people get confused about is when you add a porch, people think it takes away on the interior square footage, but that is not actually the case. It adds in addition to the 399, because that's not considered livable square footage. So we still have 399 interior square footage and we just added an eight by 10 front porch on the, on the end of the unit here. Another cool feature is we did the LP Smart siding. This siding is something that you can have painted by any Sherwin-Williams exterior color. We did do a standing seam metal roof. Another cool thing is we did the transition of roof lines. We went from high to low. And the reason why we did that is we don't want it to look like a giant box on the outside. When you continue that roof line, it'll just look like a box and you gotta break it up a little bit with the secondary roof line here. We got a lot of big windows off here on this side of the house. This is the living room side. Got the transom windows up above, bringing all that natural light. Exterior outlet. We've also got this out here. So this is actually a return air for an air conditioner. So when the house shows up, you can have a local HVAC company hook up a ducted central air conditioner. So it's all prepped, wired, ready to go for that. We also did the board and bat accent on the corner here, just to give it more curb appeal. You know, you gotta break it up a little bit, make it look unique, and they did a great job by doing that. Big bedroom window. We got the loft air conditioner as well. So this is a lofted model. It's got almost 200 square feet of loft space, which I'll show you once we get inside, um, which is huge. Got another bump out bay right here, and that's where your hot water tank's gonna be and your outdoor forced air furnace. Uh, it is propane, so we gotta have the exhaust coming outside the house. We got your black water connection here. It's always gonna be on the driver's side, better man. That's how most RV parks are set up. So all the utilities are gonna be driver's side, bedroom end. We also added four axles on this, not only because of the length of the unit, but just the, the weight of it with the LP smart siding. We want to prevent from tires blowing and tearing up the insulation underneath. Uh, another cool thing about the underneath of this house is we did the aluminum underbelly. It helps rodent proof uh, rodent proof the house. You don't have to worry about mice or raccoons or anything like that chewing through your insulation and through your wires. Um, pretty pretty nice feature that comes standard on all El Dorado series park models. Got the view handrail here on the porch with composite decking. Something cool at the porch, you know, with an eight foot porch, gives you enough room for a couple of chairs. Um, but we also had a customer, he wanted to have an outdoor propane like fire pit right here. So what we did is I prepped a gas line right below the deck here. And what they did when they got it on site, they just drilled a hole, ran the gas pipe up, put a cap on it. And now they have an outdoor fireplace hooked up to their main propane tank. You didn't have to worry about getting a five gallon tank and having it changed out once every other week. Another cool thing is this sliding glass door, we've actually got glass panes on each side. Slider opens up in the center, so this whole side's full of glass. I love how much windows and, and uh, light this unit brings in. You're gonna walk in right here to the living room. We did a recessed entertainment center with white shiplap accent. It does come with a 55 inch TV, sound bar and a Blu-ray player all come standard. Got the electric fireplace below. You can see the Blu-ray subwoofer that it comes with as well. And we've also got the moving island with four bar stools. It's got storage, open shelving. Now if you wanted to take the open shelving out and put another cabinet door in there, we could totally do that. Um, so these are all things that we'll talk about during the customization side of things. Another cool thing is it is Corian. Corian counters. We also did Corian over here in the kitchen as well. Let me get back over here in the corner so you can see uh, the 72 inch sleeper sofa it comes with and the end table. Look at the ceiling. Got the big beam in the center, black accent beam to match the uh, uh, black accents we have in here as well. Something I like about the kitchen is they did the glass panel inserts so you can 
you know, display your, um, all your uh, bowls and plates and, you know, stuff like that. Now, if you didn't want the glass inserts, we could just do a straight cabinet door. Uh, these are all options that we go over during the customization process. Also got the full extension backsplash. Now, another cool thing is this right here is actually a motion sensor that is tied to all the toe kick lighting. So underneath the kitchen cabinets, we've got strip lighting. When you walk in, it'll kick on. Um, that way you don't have to turn all the lights on in the house, get around the toe kick, totally gets you around, no problem. Got stainless steel appliances as well. Gas cooking, got the convection microwave and the big double door fridge that is counter depth. That's a very important thing as well. In these houses, especially when you've got the fridge in the hallway, you're gonna need a counter depth fridge. That way it's not coming into the hallway. You open the door and hit the, hit the hallway across. You can easily open that fridge, no problem, uh, with the counter depth fridge. So big thing you wanna keep, uh, keep an eye on if you're gonna you know, customize your own park model. We've also got Google Nest. Smart, uh, smart thermostat, you can control the heating and cooling directly from your phone. So if you're going to your campsite, you wanna kick on the heat 30 minutes before you get there, uh, it's totally doable. Now this right here is one of the first staircases I've ever seen with the steel I-beam staircase and a floating tread. They also did the view rail for the handrails as well. This is probably one of the most stout and sturdy staircases I've ever gone up. And uh, it looks really cool with the floating staircase, uh, stair treads. You're gonna come up here. This is a massive loft. This goes over almost half the unit. So we've got close to 200 square feet of loft space. And you can see all the cabinetry we added here. Um, and you still have opening windows. So you could put your TV there if you wanted to, or you know, just put some stuff in there. You've got some drawers below. You still got this really cool accent beam that goes all the way down the unit. Got a window air conditioner over there. Massive loft, uh, 10, of, 10 out of 10, in my opinion, on this staircase. Never seen anything like it before. Got some more storage here in the hallway with adjustable shelving. Now this is, you got four doors here, but if you wanted to make two big doors and say put some brooms or, you know, a Swiffer or something like that in there, we could totally do that. Walking into the bathroom. Uh, we got an undermount sink, Corian counters, and this whole wall is all storage. Look at all the drawers and the cabinet doors and the cabinets up above with the medicine cabinet. We've also got an opening window, big plus. Got to get some good ventilation and natural light in here. And it is frosted, so you don't have a clear window, people looking in. And we've got a 54-inch walk-in shower with a recessed head well as well. Big bathroom, lots of countertop and storage space. Um, great design there. Got your washer dryer cabinet to the right. Now you're gonna walk in here, queen size mattress. Got a nice big picture window, but it doesn't take away from the storage up above the bed. So you got all that natural light in. Now if you ever wanted to cover the window, you totally could. But you know, having all that natural light's uh, super beneficial in a smaller space like a bedroom. And we've also got the big window over here. You got your egress window um, over here on the end wall as well. That is where your electrical panel is going to be. And we've also got USB outlets on each side of the bed as well. Tons of storage here in the bedroom. Lots of hanging space. Big spot for a TV. And another cool thing is we do pocket doors in all of our units. Um, last thing you're going to want to do is try to swing the door into the hallway or into the bedroom because you got the mattress here. Having these pocket doors are going to free up a lot of floor space. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about swinging doors and stuff like that. Anyways, you guys, this is the Krupp Eldorado porch model. Um, if you guys have any questions about this house or any other house that we have to offer, uh, give us a call today at 888-222-2699. Park Model Homes. Thank you.